Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. I've been getting asked, oh, hi Lord Chamberlain, what'd you get for the holidays? And I'd start explaining it to people and they'd get this random blank stare on their face that meant they had absolutely no idea what I was talking about. So I figured, you know what, I'll just show rather than explain. So, first of all, I finally got a hold of the advanced rule books for Battle Stations. And if you're not familiar with Battle Stations, it's this kind of weird hybrid board game RPG campaign thing going on where you have all the members of the crew of a spaceship, which you have to build, and then it's basically a sandbox of doing whatever you feel like. And they have a sister game called Dirt Side that should be coming out in the near future, which is where you land on the planets and run around completing missions and all sorts of shenanigans ensue there as you get into military engagements. But this is the space version. And I got to say, so the stuff that actually comes in the board game itself is very threadbare compared to what you get in the actual big advanced rule book. Now, the people that did the Kickstarter obviously had access to this, but the one thing that I really love is just the alien races are absolutely bizarre. Sentient piles of bubbles, tree roots, fungoids, weird plant things with tons of prehensile tongues, two-headed snake creatures. There's a lot of variety, and you get them all in the box, too. So, anyway, there's a lot going on Wayloids, which take up, like, entire chambers of the ship. There is just a ton of stuff going on in the game. Drugs, toxins, equipment you can use, all the various parts are in here. So, I don't have a setup to show the book off right now, because I just wanted to grab it, and just to give you guys a quick look. Anyway, so there is a ton in here, and there are a crap load, and I mean a crap load of guest missions as well and you can see here all the different designers there's one from Richard Garfield in there and a bunch of other people but I know he's a big name and so there's just a whole lot of stuff going on in this game and I really recommend it if you're looking for something different and there's just just a lot of cool stuff all the various ship templates anyway so that's just one thing I got put that away Besides that, something I'd long wanted, I'll just straight up tell you guys, I'm a big comic book nerd. And when I say comic book nerd, I mean a comic book nerd connoisseur. So I like all kinds of obscure stuff, hence the obscurities. And I've been thinking I'll probably get around to doing an obscurities in literature one of these days and just go over all this stuff. Anyway, this is Tokyo Ghost. This is the big deluxe complete edition from Image. And I've always been a fan of Sean Murphy's art. It's very scratchy and angular, but also quite detailed. So, very nice looking book. I'll get into the artwork later, but in case you're interested, I don't want to spoil too much. But nice illustrations. Anyway, moving along. Ugh. Speaking of other big books, I got The Book of Chaos. A book put out by Humanoids English Division. And there is, again... Lovely, and I mean quite lovely art as the apocalypse occurs on planet Earth. Very Lovecraftian. I don't want to spoil too much, but nice, nice artwork. And I got to say, this story was pretty entertaining as well. Again, don't like to spoil too much for you guys, but I love post-apocalyptic stuff. Giants and monsters, and we'll stop there because that's where it gets interesting. So, yeah, that's it for the books. Now, let's get to the stuff that you guys are probably more familiar with. Oh, no, I take that back. One more player of games. Uh, really enjoyed the first culture novel, and I just finished reading Hyperion as well. So, I got this in the fall of Hyperion waiting for me, despite what I've been warned of. Anyway, so. Good reading. Hobby stuff. So, we've got the Boromite Matriarch, because I love big, giant, weird aliens. I got that from my brother or uncle. I got this one from my cousin, the Blitz Bowl Chaos team, not the Blood Bowl one. So this is colored plastic, unlike the regular release, and it still needs to be glued. They didn't, like, rescore it into push fit models or anything like that. As it says, glue required. And then it does have the actual stat cards for Blitz Bowl included, but it doesn't have Blood Bowl rules. And you only get one sprue as opposed to the double for regular Blood Bowl. 
Next up, we got a Conquest Tempered Sorcerer for the Dwegholm, which is basically a dwarf that is on fire. I'll do another review on him later, because I'm curious to see how he looks. A set of male half-orc druids from WizKids Deep Cuts line, because if you've noticed, I have a thing for spiky bets, fur robes, and spiky horn antlers. A box of Northern Alliance Klansmen. I will probably do another video on these guys specifically in the near future, probably next year, which is like two days away, whatever. But uh, they are all plastic, which is quite cool, and I'm curious to see how compatible they are with some of the Frostgrave models, especially the Barbarians. So we'll take a look at those too. Ugh. This one I probably have to thank my brother for. It is the Drop Zone Commander two-player starter set because they had them on Noble Knight for a ridiculous price. And it's all plastic, and I don't have the instruction manual in there because I've been reading it. But, yeah, there's a lot of plastic and cardboard in here, so that'll be fun to mess with. And finally, because I'm such a big nerd, <laughs> I had to get for myself... The Great Mazinga Infinity version kit because I've always loved Mazinga. Sadly, regular Mazinga Zetto was not released at this time. Well, it was, but. Whole lot of plastic going on there. So, yeah. Good amount of parts here. Don't know if you got. Oh, and it looks like it includes the base even. Yay! I like when that happens. Anyway. So that is my haul for the holidays. Hopefully you guys got all kinds of stuff and we will definitely be having to keep tabs on all that. With that said, this is High Lord Tamperlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and hopefully you guys got your hauls to take care of as well. Bye-bye.